Hello, welcome back to Algebra. We're going to continue learning how to deal with this thing called order of operations. And so before we talked about parentheses and we focused on that a lot, now I want to talk a little bit about fraction bars. Um, it's easier just to show you with an example rather than just talk about it. So let's say, what if you had the problem 6 plus 5 times 3 and you, you drew a big fraction bar under it and you had 6 plus 1 on the bottom. Truthfully, the stuff I'm going to tell you right now in the next one or two minutes is something I wish someone would have told me in algebra a long time ago because it would have saved me a lot of, a lot of headaches. The bottom line is, when you have a really big fraction like this with a bunch of stuff going on, like addition or multiplication on the top, and then some more junk going on at the bottom, basically the fraction bar behaves as a, as a grouping mechanism. Just like parentheses can group things together, the fraction bar kind of groups things together too. The bottom line is you can kind of treat the numerator of this fraction as having kind of an invisible set of parentheses around this entire, uh, all of these terms at the top, and you can envision an invisible set of parentheses surrounding the bottom. So just to kind of illustrate what I'm talking about, you, you shouldn't write this on your paper, but basically when you have a fraction, the numerator has an invisible parentheses kind of around everything in the top. That's why I'm drawing dotted lines. An invisible set of parentheses surrounding everything on the bottom. And so when you think of it that way, then that's very powerful because basically it means, now that you kind of envision it as invisible parentheses like this, it basically means that you follow the same order of operations as you always have. It's just you have to do the top and the bottom separately. Okay, So if you have an invisible set of parentheses surrounding all this stuff, how would you handle it? Well, you have addition and you have multiplication. Multiplication comes first. So on the top, you would have 6 plus 5 times 3 is 15. Right Now on the bottom, separately, this is totally separate from what's going on the top, you have this set of parentheses. You can just